Shalom guys. <clears throat> I hope that you're doing fantastic. Today is the 13th of December. Happy birthday, happy anniversary to you if it's a special day for you. Hope it's fantastic in every single way that it can be found. <clears throat> Those of you who are returning, welcome back. And if you are new and have found this channel somehow, welcome. My name is Shannon and I'm glad to have you. And uh, I could come across real religious and churchy, but I'm not at all. I'm spiritual, and I've had an awakening, and that is uh, uh, so different than being churchy and religious. And until you've had an awakening, you could never understand that, because at one time I couldn't understand that, but I do. And so uh, when you are free, you are really free indeed. Okay, so my worship is to Jehovah Elohim. He is the Lord of Spirits, and He is... Uh, absolutely our prophecy uh he is our yeshua who sits on the throne and um i kiss the sun like we're told to do <laughs> at least he'd be angry with you <clears throat> so anyway i do use living language and scripture on my channel and most people do know that the tarot is wrapped up in the living language of the hebrew if you didn't know that then you know it now so let's get in here and see what Jehovah wants to bring out <clears throat> Those of you who are new, I like to wake up with my audience. I've been up for quite some time, but my brain has not uh, kicked in on talking. So, um, bear with me as we get through this reading. All right. Thank you, Jehovah. I bless you today, and I, I thank you for this day, and we are going to rejoice in it. We command for the north, the south, the east gates to uh, open up so that the King of Glory can come into our cities and uh, we welcome you and honor you in our cities. We just ask for your righteousness to fill our cities. We ask for you to rest upon our leadership and help them be guided by you. Uh, help the prophets, your sons and your daughters, to prophesy and to bring things to the light so that we can uh, walk in paths of righteousness and be blessed all the days of our lives. We thank you for uh, who you are. Jehovah, rebuke and bind and block all foul, demonic, wicked, dark energies and cast them straight down uh, to the lower parts of the earth. And just thank you for uh, power that comes from your Holy Spirit. I ask for your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding. What do you want to bring out here today, Jehovah? I inquire your hand and your hand alone. <clears throat> So we have the magician. I actually seen the magician when I began to speak about waking up, my brain kicking in there. Because <laughs> it goes back to communicating. Uh, this huge, because we have the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. And so this is a guilty card. It's also a lying, cheating, uh, babbling fool card. As far as I'm concerned, the seven of swords is... Um, energies if somebody strategized something the magician in the negative is literally a manipulation energy with the seven of swords i read it that way because coming out here we know we are dealing with people who have manipulated things and uh, at the same time in the upright people can detect this know about it and do something about it and get out of any kind of uh, negative strategizing and, and things like that. This is the Aleph head, if you are new. Um, the pictograph of the he Hebraic living language uh, for the magician would be the Aleph head. It would be like the uh, second and the third house together here for this card. Um, Gemini and Taurus energy and um, Gemini Libra Aquarius here with this air energy. We've been seeing a lot of air energy come out lately, but the magician has all four elements on his table and he's able to um, lead a clan. If it's in the upright, this is the Aleph is somebody who's strong and powerful. It goes back to family and laying down foundations and somebody who leads a clan of people. And if somebody's leading a clan of people in deceptiveness, that ain't good. Um, it's time to turn something around. Uh, Jehovah is the great majesty of the universe. So we have the letter A here coming out. Person, place, or a thing. First, middle, or last name. So let's talk about this because plans need to be revised and um, re-strategized for the truth. Okay. So with the magician's other sword, that'd make eight swords. That is incarceration in the mind. This takes us back to our mind space here with the magician energy um, because it goes back to any type of communication. It can go back to technology as well. <clears throat> so let's see what's going on with this energy here. So 
If you told a lie, lay down a new foundation and get out of it, man. Fix it. Somebody's dealing with energies today. And there's the magician again showing itself. With the moon, there's big deception here uh, that Jehovah's revealing. Well, look, people, there's a lot of people mixed up in some stuff. <clears throat> Something's got to be done about it. Time to clean it up. Yo, but what do you want to bring out here about this magician and the Seven of Swords here? What's known about it, please? <clears throat> What's known about it? Thank you. So we have the chariot, something about uh, traveling. It's also that I'll take you back to the mind space of victory within something that is known about some type of a deceptive lie this is a victory card so <clears throat> we've seen energies for the for the next few days of a war that was going on and i think it was in the cardinal reading um i think it was in the cardinal reading something about there were two victory cards there and so what's known is some type of victory or needing to pull the mind down. Um, this is self-control energy with the chariot. This is traveling somewhere. Some, something's known about some type of manipulation and communication and lies and deception about traveling or a vehicle or the law is also here in what's known. This is also a traveling card moving on. The moon is here. The, the, somebody does know the truth because this will take you back to the truth. Um, with the ninth house being with the moon energy and the fourth house together here. Um, so any moon energy, it really doesn't matter. We all have this in our chart. It really doesn't matter. That's why a lot of times I don't even call out the signs. Sometimes I will, if I'm feeling led to, I will. This is the letter Z uh, out here. So the A and the Z. A to Z. The beginning to the end. This word represents time is the word out, that's out here. Now, we know this is the um, cutting implement, and the harvest is here with this card with the letter Zion. And this is people's crop, their food, everything. And there's manipulation that's been around, that kind of stuff. But the word itself is time, and um, or a point in time. People do know that it's time for something to go away, and that's a lying, deceptive manipulation and all that kind of crap and stuff doing that kind of playing around with people's lives and everything else okay so this is what you always bring out that's known there's no word the other direction for us so and we just seen the eight of cups and it's time to walk away it's t this is travel energy that he's bringing it's time to, to move forward it's time to speak it's time to speak about the lie. It's time to take those who would not, you know, uh, do what they were supposed to and they just are seared at their hearts. So time to take them to jail. It is. It's time, people. It's time. It's known about the, the uh, travel situation that's taken place. It's known about it. What's hidden, Yehovah? Oh, somebody is confused. Uh, what's hidden? What's in the hidden space? Thank you. Uh, so there's the Eight of Cups going to come out again, and the Nine of Cups, and the secret exchanging, the making a decision is also going back and forth, trying to get your balance. And so, you know, we walk away from those thoughts that want to try to come and lie to you and I. And some people are mixed up in things that really need to be taken care of, okay? Uh, because uh, there, there, there's a lot of cups showing up here. It's something that's very much emotional in the secret place that Jehovah's allowing us to see. Um, the infinity, something's been going on for a long time. Time is the word, time. It's known that time is here. I'm seeing a, so we have a vehicle here, and I'm seeing the serpentine belt here as well. Whatever that means, I'm just seeing it for some, maybe somebody needs to uh, check out their vehicle, I don't know. Uh, but there's some, there's traveling energy that really is here, and if you walk away from things that don't serve you, there is um, 
there's there's a wish fulfillment and it's in the hidden and Jehovah's showing it. And for those of you who are dealing with the lying sack of crap, there's a narcissist here in the secret. And uh, But what's known is somebody's got to pull down their mind to get some type of a victory. It's known about whatever the time was. Whatever that means. I'm going to take another card on that in just a second. Let me see the outcome for today. <clears throat> I need some more coffee. My brain really does need to kick in. <laughs> Something happened in the night. There's mountains here as well. Somebody's a heavy drinker here. Real heavy. And um, somebody's been a heavy drinker secretly for a long time. And for a long time, somebody's been sitting in front of somebody's happiness as well. be dealing with somebody who wears hats. I'm seeing two people in the secret that's got a hat on. So the truth is here. Uh, the, tr the truth. It's clarity is here. Okay. Well, there's a bunch of people involved in some stuff. We've got people that, you know, are leading a clan of people and the outcome is some type of a clarity about the truth. Okay. There's been anxiety here. That'd make nine overall energy uh, of this uh, uh, sword here but you know uh, there's a bunch of people within the eight itself because that take us back to the eighth house where we can find the flood and a sea of people and there's strife here and there's clarity and truth and the truth is also making people have some freaking strife go on apparently and putting some people in anxiety but it's time for the sword of the Lord to come and uh, to cut away the, the, the nasty lies, people. It's time to, time to get rid of this crap, man. Show me the chariot, please, Jehovah. Show me this chariot. Thank you. This is the Six of Swords. This is leaving troubled waters behind. But this is somebody that's in the cloud on a laptop. It's known about it. It's known about what has been done in the mind space here and the victory of something. It's known, I guess, today that law is involved in something here with this group that is uh, going to have to pull their mind down to leave troubled waters behind to take care of this person who's been working on a laptop of what it's coming through my spirit because that goes right back to this energy and the lies and the deception that's come with this crap. Show me the six of swords. Show me the six of swords, please, Jehovah. Thank you. We've got people flying out here. The moon is here. The mother. So this moon energy here as well. And we already seen the moon just a second ago. It's here in the, in the, it's known about traveling in the night. And it's secret. It's here. There's deception here. There's a conception at the bottom. And there's also known, something's known about some type of a love situation. And something's just very much uh, emotional somewhere. Somebody's some somebody knows something about the law and a uh, ch children and mother situations that were mixed up within something that was very stormy here. One of the combinations that's out here is excrement. Something is filthy, dirty. Well, if you got to tell a lie, something is dirty here. There's a bunch of people in some strife here. Okay. There's also another combination out here with this moon now coming out with the overall energy and the design. It's um, it's the the moon with the uh, olive head here. It means to press and something narrow is here, and it's also taking it going back to um, the sides, as in the sides of a raven, a narrow raven, uh, where the walls press in. Something something about that. Now listen, something did come out 
on those readings, this uh, time frame that we're looking at with the cardinal fix, I think it was the, the, the mutable sign reading that I named it, are they in the walls? Well, that's coming out here. Some children are here being found here. Um, we have a devil here. Taz is here. T Z. Tasmanian devil. Something has been like a whirlwind of something going on here. A raven is also a bird, and so that could be a, a clue to somebody. Uh, in, in something that's known here where travel and the mother and children and um, actually the husband is here as well. There's some type of protection here. Somebody obviously has been protecting some type of a deception or something's very much emotional. Something been going on for a long time. Uh, the vehicle is here. Law is here. We got people needing to leave troubled waters behind. Somebody sitting here doing some um, deceptive stuff where technology is concerned. It's it's known here. It's known. This energy is here. And uh, if we're talking about death, and the eight is appearing here. It's been secret for a long time. Something very physical is showing up here. It's been going on in the night because you're dealing with a narcissist. You're dealing with somebody who's a heavy drinker. And... Um, they're a strategizer. This is this very skilled energy. We also have a physician here showing up. It's a lot of energy showing up here. Show me this uh, what's known energy, Yehovah. So, you know, the spirit speaks expressively. So if I'm saying certain things, just take what is hitting your spirit. So um, this goes back to a place that is uh, beautiful for comfort or that... Um, Okay, that's an amazing. The word here is, uh, so it says beauty and comfort where one resides a long period of time. <laughs> and a habitation is here. Uh, listen, we have scripture in the Revelation that tells us about the habitation of birds. And we did have energies that were coming out to describe, but you know, the sides of a wall is a raven. But the birds are here. Again, the spirit will express itself uh, how he needs to to get any given person their information even though I'm talking to a bunch of people there's a bunch of people going through all kinds of different stuff where that energy is going to manifest so take it as as you will but there's something here about somebody's home as well maybe somebody lives in a beautiful home or something like that but there's also energies here where law and somebody going to go do some time as well for their little um, strategizing lies and uh, skillful manipulation and all that Show me the hidden space, please, Jehovah. And what they did with the vehicle and something in the night and uh, the, all that stuff. Show me what's hidden. Yeah, I need some more coffee. I hope I'm making sense, guys. A fugitive is here. Well, we see somebody travel here and... Um, There's a bar here. There's prison here showing on the card. Rods are here. Okay, going back to uh, this word that's um, connected with this card that I've got written on. Something about uh, um, taking flight and being hasty has been in secret. But there's been some type of communication. Somebody's been trying to get their balance about the situation. Uh whatever the, the you know we're dealing with fbi energies here with the eight secret stuff here is in the secret with the communication about the trip about the narcissism about prison and stuff like that and so somebody is going to do time they are going to do time okay um the word shoot is here as well and to reach is here something is used in gates okay well, we know, obviously it's talking about prison, but we've got internet gates and somebody on a laptop energy here as well. You know, we got people using, a, a, trying to act like they're somebody that they're not. This is a manipulator. This is somebody who gets up and leads a clan of people, all right? And so somebody's taking identity theft is what I'm hearing here. Show me the uh, outcome here, please, Jehovah, what you want to bring out about this. Sorry that I'm hitting the table, guys. Give me a second, please. 
Show me the outcome, Yehovah. So we keep getting this shave. We have a barber here. Obviously we do. And you know, we've got the, the cutting implement here, which is uh, the, you know, the Zion. And it's showing up here in the outcome. It's, it's the sword, a shave. Somebody shaves or something like that, or they are a barber. Uh, or something also is showing here about going around the head. If you're doing somebody wears a turban or a hat, like again, hats, if they shave their head, but they wear hats, then they do or something like that. Maybe they do in the night. I'm not sure. Uh, we have fear and terror and um, trouble is here. And what causes fear? The truth is here. Well, the, tr the truth does bring fear if you're not standing in it and it sets you free if you will um if you will accept it we have a muzzle here okay um for binding the mouth to restrain and this is somebody somebody's afraid because they can't talk or won't talk or we're told not to talk or something like that but things are known you're going to be forced to open your freaking mouth you're going to be forced to somebody force somebody to stay sh to shut up well, that person's going to be forced to go to prison. Jehovah's got that person. They, the, whoever's the clan leader, Jehovah is going to make that person go to prison for eternity. Not just in this realm, but he's going to take them somewhere where they're going to freaking burn for eternity. That's just the word of the Messiah. This whole, the, yeah, there's a devil right there. There's the devil right there. There's the bat. The devil's time is up and all of that. This also divine grace. If you open your mouth and uh, you confess uh, that Jehovah is uh, the, the Lord of your spirit, if you have a spirit, but people are going to get thrown in the fire. Okay, they're already in the fire. They really are. Hellfire is here on somebody, man. Uh, you're either going to confess something. You need to go to the authorities and confess. Or the authorities are involved in some cities. They might be. Uh, but Jehovah's Word's not going to return void people. And he said he's going to make his officers righteous. Okay, this goes back to the truth here. When people know information about what's taking place with all this stuff. And what's been hidden. And uh, there, there, there's some type of... Um, well, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm not, I'm not allowed to say what I was going to say. Anyway, this is what come out for this reading. You need to get up and do something about this clan of people that's really showing up here. Um, they're, they're muzzled. They, they, apparently, they're going to sit there muzzled, but people do know the truth about it. You just need to go in and invade them and get them out. Shalom.